What's going on people? It's TR for Slipstream and we are here at the California Superbike School at the Bedford Autodrome. This is our second one, we've done level one already. As you can see, there's a bag of bikes out here. You know the settings, with everything from adventure bikes, super bikes, street bikes, uprights, they're all here. The name of the game is getting confident, getting smooth, getting quick. We're enjoying the day, check in. Give you a little bit of lean angle so you can see. You see them lot? Okay. Right. So what will happen now is the staff here at uh, California Superbike School will come and they'll say, "Yo, do you know what you're doing this session?" And I'll go, "Cannot remember for the life of me." Right. Did you see how Nipper? He said, "Look out! Look how big the corner is." Gaining on him. Oh, because he's letting me. Okay. So we're coming up. I can see that. Apex. I can see that. Exit. I'm already on the gas. Got the back slip a little bit there. Okay. Tipping. Apex. Exit. Exit. So, we've got the, uh, the first session out, um, just kind of feeling out the track, a bit of orienteering. The second session uh, was what we call a humblers, um, because it really lets you know how much you don't know. Um, but what was cool is that we're only going 75% of our, our flat out pace, which gives us uh, more than enough time to absorb the lesson and, and give it a good go on each on each lap. Um, so that was good. Uh, what I found on the three step exercise, which is what we're doing on this session, um, is that it allowed me to get on the power a lot sooner. So my exits out of corner, corners were a lot stronger. So if you're a rider that finds, um, finds yourself feeling a bit uncomfortable on the side of the tire, mid turn, you're kind of riding it out, maybe even coasting. And then you get to the end of the corner and then you've got a bang on the power. This kind of teaches you how to build the power progressively throughout the bend uh, and, and leading with your vision, you're able to get on the power a lot sooner and make faster laps. So um, yeah, man, it was a humbler. Um, general thoughts of the day, um, dope people, spikers, it's always gonna be nice people. Um, I'm quite surprised at the general age of, of people here. Um, a lot of older riders and um, I find that to be quite interesting simply because uh, novice and younger riders, I feel could get a lot out of a day like this. There's a lot of people that, that shout the channel and speak to me about wanting to get onto track, wanting to come with us to track, wanting to come and you know, follow, up, follow lines and stuff. And that's just because we've been there before. It's not even because we're fast or good. So a day like this, um, on your own bike, I think is gonna be um, an asset to anyone who's serious about wanting to go quick and smooth and not having to replace three or four bikes because you've binned it as a result. Um, so yeah, man, it's definitely an investment. So if you're a bit younger, you want to get into this track team or you do the track team already, you want to get a bit better, um, look into some coaching, man. It is, you know, once you pay that money, you've got it in your back pocket for life and that's something to remember. <laughs> I should buy a pair of these because when I'm riding, 
I will wear normal jeans, which is the equivalent of wearing tissue, tissue paper. <laughs> Yes, so today's been live, man. Uh, we've had five track um, sessions ac accompanied by five classroom sessions, breaking down specific techniques and exercises that we use in the corresponding track sessions. Um, and for anyone who thinks that they can come to the track and be some sort of aficionado, um, yeah, it gets real when you're in the breaking zone and you are worried about getting home in one piece. So some serious learning curves today. Um, I learned that it's best to, to focus on a maximum of two things per session. You go out in your session on a track day or on a school day like today, and you want to be focusing on ideally one key thing, maximum two key things, because anything else, um, I mean, even with two things I found on one lap, I'm focusing on one aspect, forgetting the other, switching back. And on the third lap, I'd loop them together and I'd feel like Rossi. But yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's been a really strong day. Um, I had a little play with the instructor in the last session. Um, he's quick. <laughs> um, but thankfully, I, I employed a lot of the techniques that I learned today. And I kept up with him for a lot of the, a lot of the session. Um, he said he had a good time as well having a bit of a tear up. Um, yeah, there's a lot that I'm gonna roll into my riding style moving forward, which after all is the whole point of a school um, like the, uh, the California Superbike School. It's about track excellence. You're gonna have pro riders that come through here from World Superbike, MotoGP, BSB, and any other international race classes. Um, but you also have people who just wanna feel confident and know what the hell they're doing on road. Um, whether it's fast road riding or just poodling about. Um, I feel like everyone can take something from a day like today. So yeah, hit them up. <laughs>